Uh, he, we just released his name. It's on our Facebook as well, um, and has gone to most of the press. Uh, I can't go into details right now. It's, we're still investigating his background, uh, but he did have a criminal past. Did he have a gun when officers first saw him outside of the home yesterday when they encountered him? No. Did they ever see him with a gun? They did when he started firing at them. From inside the home? Yes. Had you been called there before? We have. Um, I don't have that number, but there were multiple children. Uh, was the wife still inside the house when you called 911? No. And where was she? Uh, I, I don't know where she was. Did you know Officer Lyday? Yes. Any stories or memories of the Officer Lyday was always smiling. He always had a smile on his face. He loved his job. He, uh, seemed to be pretty task oriented and uh, he handled his area with honor, responding to calls. Uh, he'd get there quickly. He, he was, he worked over and above the call of duty, in my, in my opinion. And it must have been such a pride for him to work for Ogden. It sounds like born and bred and raised here. Born and bred. He was very, he, he was very prideful uh, to be a police officer. This is a great city. and. Uh, he loved the citizens of the city, um, and like I said, he loved coming to work. And uh, I would bump into him in the hallway daily on a shift, usually. And uh, he I, he smiled before I smile, and uh, that's what I remember. And I'm grateful that I can remember that. Did he ever tell you what it was that he loved about the job? I, I know the chief said that he was a second generation officer. Did he ever mention to you what it was that he loved about coming to work? I am sure that it's because of that as a primary reason that, it, that he was a, a generational police officer. Um, that brings a lot of pride and camaraderie and, and uh, you know, it, it enlarges the family with family. And uh, I think that had a lot to do with it. And he just loved being a cop. And, uh, you know, m most of us do. We wouldn't pick this profession if we, some of us may, may not have known that we, what we were getting into, but most of us did. And, uh, He's a hero. Lieutenant, we see police from all over the Wasatch Front here. Can you talk about some of the support your department's receiving right now? We are receiving tons of support from local agencies in Weber County. Agencies in, in uh, multiple counties throughout Utah uh, have reached out with, with support, with information, with uh, how we can more help the family. Uh, examples of this flag, the flag is all around us here. Uh, Weber County, UHP, I don't want to leave anybody out, but uh, UHP, like I said, all of the agencies in Weber County helped not only on scene, but with the aftermath. Um, the FOP, the OPBA, uh, officers have food and they have water and, and we have a peer support group within the police, police department um, that we developed and we've called on those uh, individuals and their contacts to come. They're from Salt Lake, they're from UHP, um, and they're supporting our officers right now uh, as I speak here today. Uh, and we, we just, we have great support. Facebook, people are, are, are commenting and, and showing support that way. Um, you really see a community come together at times like this and, and you find that uh, even when we're in the situation we're in in the world right now, uh, the important things are brought to the surface through love and support. Okay, any other?